With so many wonderful praises, I thought this recipe might be overrated, says All Recipes member Mary Ann. But, she adds, that was certainly not the case because this is the best banana cake ever. To make this A number one banana cake, we'll start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Next, lightly butter two eight inch round baking pans. If you prefer, you can bake this cake in a nine by 13 inch baking pan or a bundt pan. Just make sure you adjust the baking time accordingly. Coat the buttered pans with a light layer of flour. Mash four ripe bananas in a medium bowl. A fork works very well for this. When the bananas are nice and smooth, set them aside. Now, place two and a half cups of flour into a medium bowl. Then add one tablespoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt. Whisk it together well and set it aside. Place half a cup, that's one stick, of softened unsalted butter in a large bowl. Then add one cup of white sugar and three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar. Use an electric mixer to cream the sugar and butter until it's light and fluffy. Add two eggs, one at a time, while you continue to beat the mixture. Stir in the mashed bananas. Then alternately, add two-thirds of a cup of buttermilk. And the flour mixture a little at a time until it's all incorporated. Finally, stir in half a cup of chopped walnuts. If you don't care for nuts, a few All Recipes members suggest adding half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips to the batter instead. Pour the batter into the baking pans. Bake the cake layers for 30 minutes. Remove the cake layers from the oven and place them on a damp tea towel or rack to cool. All Recipes members have many suggestions for frosting this A number one banana cake, including sour cream frosting, chocolate frosting, coconut pecan frosting, and more. Some even say that this cake is so good that it doesn't need any frosting. <laughs>